Hey, just a great game. You know, great, great atmosphere for us. Uh, really proud of our players. Uh, congratulations to Ohio U. You know, very, really good team. Obviously, you win 30 games. Uh, you know, you've had a, a tremendous season. And uh, they they took us out of our offense, drove it at us hard. And, uh, you know, it was a tough matchup. But I thought, you know, the last three, four minutes, we just were resilient. And, um, you know, just made made a couple of plays that made a difference. And uh, uh, made big free throws, obviously, down the stretch. And, and kept we got a big stop when we had to. But, uh, you know, for Palace, uh, you know, she was double teamed uh, everywhere she went. Still got 19, or excuse me, still got 16 rebounds. And, you know, got in a little foul trouble. Uh, but, you know, she's been resilient this whole tournament. So, you know, proud of her. Obviously, J Jordan uh, coming off some injuries. So she made big plays in the fourth quarter when we couldn't score. Uh, hit a bank three that her and I were working on and shoot around today. So that's all coaching, you know. Coach, obviously, you know, every coach has high expectations going into a postseason run. But, but what is it like to actually have achieved, you know, this Final Four appearance? Describe the emotions about that. Incredible, you know, incredible, especially, you know, uh, to play at Toledo um, in a, in a, and down by I don't know, 16, you know, late in the third to come back and win there in a tough environment, to play at West Virginia and be down 18 and never take the lead till Pulliam hit a shot with 30 seconds, 35 seconds. Um, you, know, you know, it's like, you know, I saw, uh, you know, Coach Jerry Brown, one of Fitz's legendary coaches, and uh, when I got it, they were the cardiac kids. So I think I think they've inspired us now um, to, you know, just keep your coaches on their toes. Uh, uh, but, you know, playing from behind, we don't panic. We haven't panicked, and I think that's been big. Coach, you, you called for fans to come out in full force. How would you grade their, uh, their showing out? Uh, you know, it was awesome, you know, and, and it was loud. You know, we, we play in, I think, right now, what's uh, – once, once everybody settled in, it's going to be the best arena in college basketball. And I've been in all of them pretty much. So uh, the atmosphere and the crowd, and, you know, it just inspired our team, I, I thought, in the last two minutes especially. And thanks to everybody that, you know, we're in break, you know, we're coming off spring break. So, you know, there's still people not on campus, but, you know, the Evanston community and the basketball community and uh, the Northwestern community really supported us tonight. So really appreciate people that – that invested our marketing and, and uh, ticket people did a great job on the last minute because, you know, you don't know you're getting this game till, um, you know, they, the winner of this game was Thursday. Uh, so it really doesn't give you, gives you a day in between. So I, th I thought it was an awesome crowd. Thanks. No, and why'd you leave Palace in for the fourth quarter with four fouls for so long? Um, She's the best rebounder in, in the Big Ten. So, you know, um, we needed, you know, we were starting to get some stops, but they were crashing. And, uh, you know, we're getting a little bit to the offensive glass a, a, a little easier than, I, than we wanted them to. So, you know, Palace, um, you have to have her in the game when because she, not only does she, does she rebound, she also um, forced double teams at the other end, let, and that helped us. You know, getting other people open, but uh, she did a good job playing with four fouls. Uh, it felt like you they were struggling some in the post and scoring. Uh, they only sc you only scored 16 points in the paint, despite they don't have a player above about six feet tall. What? How are they taking that away? Well, they double teamed. Every time you got to, they fronted the post, then they 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 flooded two people to the ball, so they weren't going to let you beat them tonight in the lane unless it was either in transition or on the offensive glass. And, uh, you know, a couple times, you know, I thought Wolf had good position, you know, they, and they're really aggressive in their help. And, uh, you know, we, it was hard to get the ball inside. But, um, and what they gave you was open shots that, you know, we started to knock down or dribble drives where we got into the lane, we were able to get to the rim a little more. What does it mean to have so many – young players that have so many years left making this kind of impact already? Yeah, that's a great question. To be in the Final Four of a 64-team tournament, you know, uh, 
it's great for them. It's great. Every, every practice they get, every, every environment like this they play in, whether it's at home or at West Virginia or at Toledo or whatever happens next week, um, it's just an incredible experience for them. And all, you know, only positive things going into next year. So excited, you know, it's exciting for them. Uh, and Palace is, as our only senior, you know, the West Virginia game, she just wouldn't let us lose that game. So, you know, you, she's got us on her back. Um, we talked a little bit about the, def the second half defense already, Ryan asked about it uh, last time. Uh, to, to the players, what were some adjustments that you guys tried to make as coaches heading into that second half? Was I, I didn't feel like uh, in, in our in our matchups we just weren't moving as the ball was moving. Uh, Ohio U spread us out pretty good. We closed out in the first half uh, out of control, and they they went by us. I thought I thought in the second half, especially the fourth quarter, we did a better job of keeping them in front of us. But they're they're good, man. You know they they can shoot threes, and they stretch you, and then they dribble at you hard, and they finish. So second half, I thought we just did a much better job uh, trying to keep them in front of us. Um, and then Veronica Burton, another incredible game, uh, 15 points, seven rebounds, six assists, uh, and she only took six shots to get there. Uh, what did you think about her performance tonight? Um, she's going to keep her scholarship. She's going to keep her scholarship. <laughs> she, she, uh, she doesn't play like a freshman. You know, she's not a normal freshman. She's mature beyond her years. We've seen that all year. And um, we would not be playing this week if it wasn't for her. So uh, she's fearless. You know, her teammates have great respect for her leadership. She has the ball. And, you know, she had a great Big Ten season, I thought, too. So uh, I'm glad she's only a freshman. You know, can we get three more years of, uh, you know, of having her on the floor. And uh, she's tough as nails. And, you're really proud of her. Talk a little bit about your team's aggressiveness offensively. How were you able to draw so many fouls and, and, and even get a few other players to foul out in the game? Yeah, I, I thought we did a much better job. We started to get out in transition because we started to rebound better, and that put a lot of pressure on them as we, we, we attacked the basket more. They got us playing east-west for a while, and you know we just, were, we just didn't move didn't dribble the ball where we either attacked the basket or created a passing lane. And, uh, you know, we did a much better job of just, um, you know, in the fourth quarter, moving the ball, getting the ball inside out, and, and getting out in transition, trying to get some easy baskets. And they're a good defensive team. And, and what do you see as, as the keys to, to winning these final couple games and, and maybe taking it all? Yeah, you're playing for a national championship. I mean, you know, um, I coached the team at George Washington. We beat the number one seed in the country, uh, North Carolina, and we played Notre Dame in the Elite Eight to go to the Final Four in the NCAA tournament. And I just remember how excited. That's a little while ago, but you know you still remember, and and then how hard it was when you got beat. So you got to hate to lose in these things. You don't have to play great. You just got to win by one. We're proving that, you know, um, and you, you know. Sometimes you got to play from behind. So I think whoever we play, Georgetown, James Madison, you know, obviously when you're going to be down to four teams, everybody's good. Uh, so, you know, we'll, that game is not played till tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we'll watch the matchups and, and go from there, see obviously where, where the game is and, uh, you know, just get ready to play again. Yeah, and just a final thing, unless either of you two have one. Um, any any words on on kind of Pulliam icing away the game with those free throws? Yeah, yeah. I mean that's who you wanted to line. That's who we we ran out of bounds plays to get her the ball to get fouled because you know we just have great confidence and she has great confidence. You know we saw that at the West Virginia game the other night. She had an unbelievable shot to give us a lead and then made a free throw to uh, you know to give us a, a, a two point lead. So. Uh, you know, her and Veronica, you want them at the line uh, at, at the end of any game. All right, guys, thank you.